Hey, how are ya? That was a waste. Lost all dodge. No! Oh, Zeke's never gonna forgive me for this. Oh my goodness, are we about to do this? Yes! Oh, I was not paying attention to what was happening on the right side of the screen right at the end. And here comes another hit. Oh no! Oh, it was so terrible. Oh my gosh! Yes, I am accepting this offer. I have two Vulcans. I have two Vulcans. Hull laser, take them down, and we've done it. Whoa, that was stressful. Heal yourself. Incoming. But we did it. Oh, the Vulcan was so helpful there. The Vulcan was key. Hey, how are ya? Noxus Flack here, and welcome to another FTL adventure. It is Monday morning, and that means we're starting a new game with a new ship. And for this week, we will be doing the slug ship layout B. And uh, frankly, I like the Stormwalker, so we're actually going to keep it that way. Uh, the layout B is interesting. We have the repair gel that uh, excretes a thick gel that automatically repairs. We have the Artemis, standard missile, requires one power, you know. Uh, the healing burst, which essentially works with the teleportation strategy. But something that's somewhat important to remember <clears throat> is that this ship does not start with a med bay or... Um, a uh, cloning vat, so we uh, th th we're gonna be using the heal burst to literally heal our own people. So we're gonna go with the classic crew here. We're gonna have myself, Noxus Flack, as the captain, and then we're going to have who am I? And then it's been a while. All of his people on his ship did asphyxiate, but hungry beast. And there we go. This is the starting of the Stormwalker with these, uh, you know, slimy boys. Let's check it out while the rooms are hidden. I actually think the painting scheme's pretty cool. Uh, but I think, I think the beginning of this playthrough is gonna be rough because the strategy of this ship is teleport over there, get damaged, use missiles to heal your own people, and you have no other ability to heal. So, so really we're gonna need, we need to plan on upgrading the ship. All right. And uh, before we get started, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to see more FTL. I'm playing through as every single ship, every single layout of every single ship. And then when I've done that, I intend to get the multiverse uh, community created mod. And I know there's a lot of ships on there, so I don't want to say I'm going to play as every ship, but I really want to. All right. So with that cringe out of the way, the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for your journey. So make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebels can catch up. Well, you know the you know the drill. You know the drill. Something about solar flares. Don't care. Weapons are up. Also, our crew is super small, which is not it's super not cool. Nothing. Let's get out of here. All right, automated ship. They are trying to run, so I see no reason to. Uh, this. So right now, once that takes our shields down, this beam drone is going to be able to hit us, which is not great. We just missed. We're having a grand old time. We're going to have to just deal with getting hit. <clears throat> I would love a miss. A miss would be great right now. Alright, so their FTL's done charging. Um, they've also lost all dodge, so next missile shot will take out their weapon systems. Oh, very nice. Also, starting with only weapons is never fun. Um, I mean, only weapons, only missiles is never fun. It's a, it's like living in Mad Max times and everything you drive or your whole army is just gas guzzling vehicles. I don't know why that would be something you would choose on purpose. All right. Besides, of course, the style factor, which you got to give credit for, I guess. 
Uh, intervene! Alright, so we've got three people on their ship. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go you, you. Artemis, take out weapons. Power. Alright, go after the driver. Alright, so the goal here is to take out their whole crew. Um, again, we have the heal burst. It's ready to go. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. Do your thing. We have been healed. That was actually really cool. Um, yeah, that was really cool. Um, we certainly need a larger crew. Um, the timing is what I meant. And salvage what you can. Double reward mission. Get back over here. Everyone back to stations. Not super thrilled about how like who am I is at 58 health and is like I like I don't want to use a missile to heal him mostly because I never liked who am I and he has bad hair. Uh, could be a trap. We don't have a clone bay. Situations like that, I typically only send crew if I have a clone bay. It's the strategy. All right, so similar situation going on here. Uh, they took out my door system. Actually, super annoying. Um, just take out weapons. Alright, so the FTL charging is a big old no-go. I gotta test it, I forget. Will it heal them too? No! Okay. Oh, that was almost horrible! I don't know if you saw, but Jump Imminent came up on the screen. And I felt the fear. Whoa, that was close. I hate it. Alright, so they're not letting me target their ship anymore with the heal bomb. You can tell I never use the heal bomb. There we go. Everyone back to stations. I, I actually, for some reason, like the sound of the heal bomb. Is that weird? I think it's weird that I like that. Okay, moving on. Uh, we don't uh, have any enough drone parts for the repairs. Alright, so we're going to go distress and then down to the store. It would be so cool if I could do the Crystal Cruiser uh, Distress Beacon. Oh yeah, we're not doing that. We're not losing crew today. Uh, yeah, we'll go here first. Oh, teleporter. Map has been updated. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, let's do the Distress. Uh, hail them. Um, uh, well, actually, I really need missiles. So that was weirdly exactly what I needed. So I think I can go boom, 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 and then we're done. Please don't be an automated ship. Please be a ship I can board. Automated ship, not risking it. Down to the store. All right, so let's see what we got. Clone Bay. I think we're going to do Clone Bay. I think that's, I think that's the play. Uh, we could also get crew. Uh, I'm gonna go rock crew. Um, I see nothing I really want to sell. Um, hello, rock crew. Um, yeah, actually, I want you on weapons. And I want you on shields. So, rock crew's just always gonna be on weapons now. Um, and then, I early game anyway, I don't mind the shield and engine guys going to teleport to the other ship, because he's doing most of the dodge myself is doing most of the dodge anyway um but yeah welcome to the crew treadstone all right and now that we have the clone bay let's power that up very nice so that that solved an issue um a pretty big issue with the ship um flat cut mark one one of my favorite weapons in the whole game that was <laughs> you know that was fun all right, so interesting layout um, for Sector 2. Rock's pretty rough to deal with, a lot of missiles. So I'm gonna go green. It gives me the opportunity of greens um, in the future. Welcome to the new sector, blah, 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 blah. Distress, let's go. Uh, yep, Rock crew member. Rock crew member already paying us back in dividends. Uh, we will never draw surrender.
Arcruda Slavers. Let's get all of it to dodge. Artemis Fire. Let's turn on Auto Fire. Genuinely wondering if Heal Bomb will take down a Super Shield, so we're going to do it. I've looked, I get it. I don't use it very often. <clears throat> it did not do that. Alright, let's, uh, let's bring these back. That's not fun at all. All right, one more and then we'll be able to board. They do have a Mantis crew member. Need to be aware of that. Super shields out of the way, here we go. All right, we're gonna let him fight a bit before we, uh... yeah, okay, you know what? Oh, the timing was kind of close. So I think this Mantis crew member, Elizabeth, is kind of a boss, or who am I just stinks? All right, so we already have a Rockman. Uh, the Mantis is pretty cool, actually, because we're doing a boarding strategy, so we're going to get, supposedly, Ken, um, if that is your real name. Get on over here. Ken, you're actually going to stick in the teleporter room? Um... Yeah, we have a, yeah, we can save our missiles now, so... Who am I is fighting? Hungry is fighting. Alright, Hungry, you're gonna be an entrance guy. Who am I? You're there. I'm gonna use the heal bomb. There we go. And then, moving on! And everyone will get healed again. Every jump for our... Clone bay. That aid civilian ship. All right, we got two people on this ship. Let's do this. Missile launcher on that. Turn off auto fire. I just want to turn off your, uh... Why didn't that have... There we go. I just want to turn off your weapons. All right, so since we have Ken, who I forgot to rename, I apologize. I will fix it. Oh, a fire that you have to deal with? Oh, we're going to fight in a place on fire? This is legendary. All right, double roar, that's the good stuff. Very cool. <sighs> Let's keep going. I was kinda hoping for a store, but I do eventually need to upgrade the ship's a weapon system and power to get this flak gun operational. I love flak ones. All right, pirates. They tried to hack my systems, but they couldn't because they were big dumb. Let's do that. And then Artemis on weapons. Mantis on Mantis. So yeah, once they take their shields down, the beam weapon can do a lot of damage. That problem's been solved. Heal bomb. Perfect. Uh, it's actually going surprisingly well. I was very worried about this ship. Alright. There's a store. Let's go here first. Dangerously close to a star! Alright, so they took my clone base away, which I'm super uncool about. That didn't do very much at all. Yeah. 
to the store. Oh, that totally hit us, didn't it? Another flak one. Do you think I'm even gonna hesitate? That's not a question. Mind control is very slug and it goes with the boarding strategy, so we are gonna do that. Okay, so you. 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 So we obviously need to upgrade the ship so that we can get uh, the two flak guns operational, but uh. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Another store and we're broke, that's kind of the worst, and it's like the only way we can go. I mean, I don't mind selling the slug repair gel if we run into something I absolutely must have. I'm not seeing anything that I absolutely must have, so. Another store! Does the agony end? Uh, no, I don't want more drone parts. Let's go to the exit, this is gonna be the end of part one. Uh, move into examine nothing. All right, that's the end of sector two. So um, we're not really. I'd rather. So, okay, so this is actually really bad. So the abandoned sector is going to have a bunch of the Lanius who have no oxygen in their rooms, which is horrible for boarding. And Zoltan has super shields, which is horrible for boarding. But I have two flat guns, so after I take down the super shield, I can board. So we're going to go Zoltan. You are far from Federation home space here in Zoltan territory. It's not clear whether the authorities still have any goodwill remaining. You still have to push forward. Well, there you have it. That was part one of our playthrough with the Stormwalker. And I totally forgot to rename Ken to his true name of Zeke. Totally spelt wrong. There we go. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of the slug ship layout? B. What do you think of the crew? What do you think of the weapon setup? Let me know. As always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to see more FTL. This has been Nox's Fleck, and I will see you tomorrow in Sector 3.